I'm on my way to the local arts store since they're open to in-person visitors again because I need note cards and I want to see if I can get a refill for the ink cartridge for my old pen. For a while now I've been trying to use uh, digital note-taking platforms and I think I've discovered one that I like for reminders, for on the go, needing to write something down quickly, you know, you always have your phone with you so it makes sense to use the digital platform. But for things like my to-do lists, it actually hasn't been proving that beneficial. I tried to use Todoist for several months, and it helped at first, but it didn't really give me a visceral sense of having completed a task, nor did it interface that well with new tasks and changes in routine. I did find several open source and privacy-focused to-do applications, applications that, however, most of those were from small developers, and while their projects are really cool, and I'm really glad to see that they're doing work, usually what happens when you're dealing with programs developed by a single person or a very, very small group is you get a program that meets the needs of that person or that very small group, but it isn't going to meet your needs, not necessarily. However, there is an application that functions really, really well for an individual. It's an application that pretty much everyone has access to. It's called Pen and Paper. And I think there probably actually is a digital application called Pen and Paper. So let me clarify that I was being all ironical there. Yeah, okay. So with simple pen and paper, I plan to create my own physical to-do system. Something that will help me track my daily tasks and reorganize them as needed and see them in a really effective, visceral manner. I want to feel when a task is accomplished. I want to really be aware of when I still have things on my plate at the end of the day. It's all too easy for it to become another jumbled mess inside of a phone. And don't get me wrong, I, I love what technology can do. There's a lot of potential and power within these little devices that we carry with us. But at the same time, we run the risk of overloading them. Think of it like a very, very small point in a river, a tiny channel. You've got all of this information daily flooding through that channel from a vast, vast ocean. Now you, you need some of that information, but you also need to be able to sort it and understand it. If you let all of the ocean in at once, you get this huge deluge. So naturally you find ways to restrict it. Now you can do that in a bunch of different ways. You can do that within the system itself. You can have different pipes within that channel. Those might be the different apps that you're using for different things. You have an email application. You have a couple of different text chat applications, a video chat application. Some of them now incorporate their own subpipes and they handle video and chat and email all in one application. All trying to simplify down and make your process of understanding the information that's coming into you a little easier. But ultimately, you're still funneling a vast amount of information through the channel. Now that channel is your phone, your device. And maybe you have a couple of devices, but they all essentially function as one. In fact, it can actually become very frustrating in cases where they don't, 
which is one of the things that makes combined ecosystems like Apple's ecosystem so bloody powerful. I'm actually really weirdly excited by the prospect of going inside this store. Now, I think that might just be a product of COVID, but it could also be a product of how awesome art stores are. Think about it. If you have a local art store, go ahead, check them out. You never know what you're gonna find. And they're great places to interact with the kind of materials that can help you expand your imagination. Because I am fully vaccinated, I don't actually need to wear this technically yet in this county of California, although other counties are changing that policy. But because I'm not a raging noodle, I'm going to wear this inside. Okay, so it's been a day since I went to the art store. It was a lot of fun. And I've put together my little project, which is my home to-do system, to-do list system, to-do to do system. Hmm. Here is my new to-do system. And of course, over here, I have my actual calendar, which I've printed out. I like to have that visceral sense of what's going on in my life. This is a meal plan that Katie developed. And these are those index cards that I was telling you about that I went to go and get from the art supply store. And as you can see, very simple. I've got daily and daily completed, weekly and weekly completed. These are just the basic tasks to keep the house nice. All right, that's pretty simple. Okay, so in looking at this system, I wanted to be able to see at the end of the day when I go to bed, I want to be able to look up and know what I did. You know, I don't want to feel a sense of guilt if I missed something, but I want to know how I did during that day. Do, did I get all the things that needed to be done done? If not, all right, cool. I'll try again better next day. So I like, the, I like that visceral nature. I like having something tactile that I can touch and feel, smell, whatever. I don't think the index cards smell, actually. What I want to do is see if I can actually make this work a little bit better. Can I actually make this a little easier and a little simpler still? Let's find out. Let's start over here, my daily tasks. All right. Well, I actually just took care of these two things just a few minutes ago. So since it's not an unlimited space, how do I work with it? The fact that it actually is a physical place on my wall with this limited space can be a benefit. I'm going to take these down. So why have them separated when I could have them as a single card? Consolidation is key to a system like this, to any system actually. And you'll find this to be very useful if you're using a digital management system as well. You want to group tasks together. You want to do things that need to be done and are similar to one another at the same time. Trust me, it's going to make your life so much easier. All right, let's see if there's anything else we can do here. Hmm. Oh, here's one. So trash and recycle, Monday, Thursday. Well, that's actually a little confusing, isn't it? This would mean that every single Monday and Thursday I have to move this back and forth. That's a little bit more work than I wanted to do on my weekly list here. My weekly list really should only reset every week. I like to reset my week on Monday. So, okay, let's take that off. Oh, well, wonders never cease. All right. Clearly, this is the height of technological innovation. But I consolidated. I managed to take something that was taking up a lot of space and doing less and was a little confusing. And I managed to simplify it. Now, when I reach Monday, I just unpin this and I move it 
over here. And now I know that it's done. It's that easy. And every day when I walk by, I'm going to be able to see that it was done. It's going to be living here in the background of my mind, the background of my peripheral vision. My subconscious is going to be aware of the things that I've done. And that's really important. We want to build habits by using our unconscious mind as much as possible, by using those tools in the background for the automation of our psyches. Well, that's it for my task management system. There's not really too much to it. I think I would like to replace the cork board with a magnetic board at some point in time, but I do like having this more than working with a digital system. Once again, I do use a digital system for other types of important notes, for shopping lists, for um, task reminders that are a little bit more complex, one-off tasks, things like that. But this frees me up to see some of those basic routines in my life that I really need to make sure are ingrained properly in my habitual cycles and see that they're done and feel that they're done. All right, well, that's one unenlightened generalist's take on things anyway. So... If you've enjoyed this, any part of my rambling or me drinking fancy plum mead on screen, go ahead and click like, click subscribe. We have a lot of content that we're planning on putting up from songs to cooking videos to lifestyle videos to just some more random vlogs like this. And I, uh, I hope that you'll join us and experiment with life. And Millie would also like to make an appearance.